No, hello, Liliana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good, teacher. Good. Tell me, what's new? Mm, new? Not, much. Not too much. <laughs> no. The same routine as usual. Mm, well, today in the, mor in the morning? Yeah. In the morning, I I went to the I don't know if it's is the right word, but uh, in the central offices. In the main offices. Main offices. Thank you. Main offices. Uh, uh, with my boss. There were there. There were a meeting. Yeah. Yeah. There was a meeting. There was a meeting. There was a meeting and I was there all day. All the morning, sorry. All the morning. All morning. Yeah. All morning. all morning. I was there all morning. Kind of boring for me. <laughs> because I just stayed there with my boss and yeah, take taking notes and you know, things, stuff like that. Uh, and that that was the only thing that changed in my day. Then, so you were the like same a, as the afternoon, story. the same, yeah. Well, some days are like that. I mean, what can we do? Hey, you know, yeah. they gave me they gave me my car today. Oh man, so good. Yeah. I can feel the difference, but oh man, so expensive. Uh, how much? Six hundred. Oh my God, that's a lot of money. Yeah, I know. And just cards. One card. Yeah, I'm missing the other one. Uh, oh my God, but the next month, right? Yeah, because this month I still need to go do some paperwork for the motorcycle and that's to uh, stay like 150 more. So beautiful, God. beautiful month. And the month, and we are on the fifth. I mean, we are barely starting the month. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that uh, I get paid at the end of the month. Yeah. I mean, it's... If I were paid like every two weeks, I would be like, cool. Every fortnight, I would be like, cool. But man, I see my money until the end of the month. Ah, uh, same. So it's going to be long. Yeah, it's going to be a long month. Yeah, and vacations. So. About the teacher, uh, we are going to to have some kind of vacation. Yeah, you're gonna have vacation for me, yeah. No, not for you. <laughs> be happy, be happy. There's gonna be one week that you're not gonna be like, oh man, it's the teacher One week? Again. Uh, yeah. All the week? Yeah. Why, really? Yeah. I think that that that, that just today's Jueves Santo y Viernes Santo. No, Insacor gives the whole week. Oh, okay. And and we work with Insacor's calendar. Oh, okay. 
Well, oh my we, God. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, yeah really but no class. But after Don't that, worry. Don't worry. I will leave you a lot of homework. No. <laughs> No, but uh, perhaps I will give some tips so people can practice a little bit because you know one week without practicing. Yeah. This is like going to the gym. One week you don't go, next week you feel like, ah, I want to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, believe me, right now I'm coming from the gym. I have had like five days without going. Man, uh. it hurts. <laughs> and tomorrow is going to be worse tomorrow yeah the thing is this that i i usually go monday tuesday thursday and friday four days a week okay but i couldn't go yesterday and i'm not going tomorrow okay i never go on wednesdays mm -hmm. so on thursday my body is gonna hurt horrible Oh, Mostly my my upper body because today I work uh, chest, biceps, and back. That's bad, but that's nice, teacher. That you can go to the gym. I tried, but I failed. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I don't know. Just. I, 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 the last time I, that I tried to, to go to the gym, I just went one week. And I don't know why I always do the same thing. Oh, really? Yeah. In but. Case, I mean, I am pretty, you know, I don't really like it, to be honest with you. But uh, as I take my son every every day to to classes, I mean, I stay there and I do it. I spend like an hour and a half, one hour. Mm, an hour, but that's good. An hour. Yeah, sometimes a little bit more, but it's just that I don't have more time. I mean, to do the routine, the complete routine, I would need like like two hours. So sometimes I have to go like running in order to do everything. Yeah, because, well, I think that your your days always are busy and yeah. you have time to go to the gym. Yeah, that's, that's why I never- That's very, have, very nice. That's, that's why I never have dinner. Yeah, but you know, I come from work, just shower, get dressed, go to the gym. Uh, I just came like, 10 minutes ago, 15 minutes ago. Oh. I just came, showered, got dressed, and I'm here. <laughs> and I'm going to have dinner like 10 30, somewhere around. Ooh, that's too late for me. It's late. Nah, you get used to it. To be honest, you get used to it. I mean, I mean after, after a while, it's like, ah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so and what do you plan to do on that week that you're not gonna have my classes well work <laughs> i'm going no, to but work. i mean at night um, i don't know i don't i don't have plans yet any plans yet no Aww. maybe well uh, maybe with my family uh, Friday night uh, my my cousins are planning a dinner oh, really? That's cool. but uh, I don't have details yet but I think that a dinner with my family oh uh, one of my I forgot Theo Uncles, uncles. One of my uncles uh, are uh, is going to get get getting married. He's getting married. Yeah, he's getting married. Uh, mm, Saturday. Yeah, the next 
Saturday. Oh, poor man, poor man. I'm so sorry <laughs> for you. <laughs> so I'm bright, man. My, my deepest condolences. <laughs> Oh, you're going to be a bridesmaid? You got the dress ready? Yeah. It's okay, green. what color? Green. Like, mm, but I don't know, like. I'm trying to picture you on green. This kind of green. Let me show you. Give me a sec. Mm, I have a picture of the color. Mm. A green light like this green. Algo como es como este color, algo así, como I don't know, como verde. Yeah, yeah, I can. Esmeralda, algo así. I can see. I can see. I really like. That's the color that the bright pixel. I have to wear it. Nah, no comments. Brides <laughs> always choose pick weird colors. Yeah. But I have the dress, I have the heels, so. You got the heels? Yeah. That's cool. You like wearing heels? Oh, I love it. <laughs> That's I cool. love heels. Yeah. How tall are you? Mm, I don't know how to say it, but metro 54. 154. 154, yeah. Okay, that's average. But with heels, maybe 160. Or, with, yeah. With heels, is a whole with different heels. story, you say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. But... Well, you need yeah. to learn to you need to learn uh, to say it in feet. Yeah, I I can say it in that way. Uh, let's see. In your case, that would be five five feet. Five feet. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that would be five feet because it's 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 not five one. Let's see. Yeah. But with heels, five. It's five oh five. <laughs> five oh five. Oh, okay. Five oh five. In my case, let's see. I am. I am five six. In that ten meters. 172. You're taller. Nah. Yeah. Not really. We will Wait. find out. Let, let's take a poll. Let's see. Jose Wilfredo, we are, Elian and me, we are wondering, how tall are you? He looks tall. 180. Yeah. You see? You see? He yeah. is tall. <laughs> <laughs> he is tall. He's 5'9 and I am 5'6. Yeah. Yeah, he is tall. You see, now I'm I'm short. Man, that's sad. <laughs> Actually, you know, my youngest brother, he's let's see, he's a few centimeters taller than me because I'm 70, 172, he's 175. Mm. The only difference is that in my family, everybody's big. Oh. They wait like my brother, he waits like 220, 230. Hot. My mom is like in 220. My sister, right now she's losing weight. She's in 220 also. They are big, pretty big. <laughs> and you? Right now, I, you know, in my case, I'm the adopted one because right now I am the fattest ever in my life. I am 159. 159 pounds. Hmm, but not, that's not too much. Yeah, it is. I used to be thinner. Yeah, 
It used to be pretty, pretty, pretty thin. Well. Oh, hi. Adriana, nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. I'm going to take my dinner, so I turn off the camera. To Just have, to, to have, have a dinner. dinner. Thank to you. Dinner. To have dinner. I okay. Come back in for a you. few minutes. Okay. Thank you. Cool. Jose Wilfredo, hello. How is everything? Hello, teacher. Uh, so far, so good, teacher. And um, you're tall, 180. Yeah, 180. Okay. Can we talk about weight? Is two pounds. I'm sorry? 200 pounds. 200? Oh, that's not much. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, because of your height, it's okay. Yeah, like I told you straight that I like running. Oh, yeah, you have that bad habit. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and also I play soccer too. Yeah, you should, you could be a, a, a good basketball player. When I was a child, I played basketball. But I, I, uh, I prefer it. So, yeah, well, in my case, you know, I'm not that tall, but I prefer basketball instead of soccer. <laughs> but I guess yeah. that it's a pen of, of the friends because a lot of friends of mine, they play soccer, just soccer. Yeah, well, when I was in high school, we used to play, we used to play a lot, basketball and volleyball. I never practiced volleyball. Oh, I love it. When I was young, I used to play volleyball all the time. Really? And also, yeah, I used to play basketball, volleyball, and badminton. Badminton? Yeah. Yeah, I know what it is. But... I never it's, practiced. It's close the close to tennis, something uh -huh. like that. Yeah. It's nice. It's very. I mean, you gotta you gotta move. <laughs> you gotta move. Yeah. It's a nice yeah. sport. Yeah. So that's tell fun. me, how's everything? How's your day? Oh, was a easy day. Just I learned uh, how to make some report, and then I have to. I have one meeting with a main client uh, from USA. Ooh. And How did it go? It's, oh, everything good. Because it's, uh, on, they are from Medicaid, Medicare. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Medicare. So, uh -huh. so we handle that line of business. Mm, that's nice. So, you got that account? Yeah. Yeah, so it was really nice because I learned a lot about it, but just uh, for the business. Yeah, sure. Not what what um, not what is the the main of the business, if not the just uh, financial. That's interesting. Yeah, so you've been was, busy today. Yeah, I have a lot of meetings today. Like, I guess that we're like uh, six or seven, I guess. Really? Yeah, I spent a lot of time on meeting today. Yeah, it was a long meeting. I mean, if you were finishing around six, seven, man, it was a long day for meetings. Yeah, that's right. Was really, I guess it was. Um, boring because uh, I guess that you be boring when you hear something just to speak and speak and speak and speak and you never handle the the, the meeting or oh that's terrible for me yeah that's I used right to be the one who's speaking all right yeah, yeah. I I'm have to speak and I am I am coordinating and in your case you you spend your day speaking right yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's, I mean, for me, it's hard to be honest, to be like sitting down and just listening. I get like sleepy. <laughs> me too. 
that it's happened so to me. Hard. I have yeah. to have to drop. I have the same trouble. Yeah, I don't know I, why. When I was actually, to be honest with you, when I was uh, at the university back in the days, uh, uh -huh. the, there was a class that they knew that I was always like close to the door because I used to spend up half of the class. <laughs> Otherwise, I would be asleep. And there was another class that the teacher, I mean, for the English classes, it was cool for me because they knew me. So sometimes I just used to go watch the class, like you know, when it was grammar, when I took uh -huh. grammar, it was, it was easy for me. Grammar was easy for me. So I just used to go look at the topic, uh, do some exercises, ask for permission, and never come back. I used yeah. to spend in the class like 20 minutes. That was the thought. I used to get so bored in class. That happened to me because I have to wake up early Monday to Friday. And when I go out to the to the way Joe, I want to sleep, but I have to drive for the microbus. <laughs> then when I come back to the home, when the I home. came back. Uh, when I came back to home, I I want well, to. You sleep. can say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can say when I come back home. When I come back home, I I want to sleep, but when I uh, connect to the class, uh, my my brain start to to reload. That's cool. Yeah, that's right. But it's because I want to learn a lot. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's an interest, uh, an interest there, and that that uh, motivates you, right? Yeah, that that gave me other kind of energies. That's cool, my friend. Yeah. Welcome to the class. Thank nice you, teacher. You Let's see, where's Ambar? Hello, Ambar. How are you? Long time not talk to you. Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. What about you? I'm just tired and you know, wasted today. It was a long day for me. Me too. I have a lot of work to do. Yeah, right now but... I am looking at, at a pretty comfortable chair that I will be, if I sit in there, I'm going to be asleep. Yes. <laughs> well, but my day was good because I could uh, complete some police. Oh, really? Yes. Nice. That's nice. So, working on the on your goals. Yes, yes. But my last week was very bad. But I feel my start or the beginning of the moon. Yeah, the beginning. The beginning of the month is good. It's okay, more. that's nice. It's better than the previous one. Yes. That's nice. And I mean, that's important to start, to start the month strong. That way, if something happens, I mean, you got, you got a little while ahead. Yes, I will try to accomplish my goal in, on the 15 on 20 of, of this oh. month. Yeah, that would be perfect. Yes. That way you could be like relaxed. Exactly. And working to get extra, of course, right? Yes, I I try to I try to how do you say trato de dar lo mejor que puedo? I, I try to do my best. I try to do my best. Yeah, of course, that's what really matters. I mean, in the end, we try to do our best to, and let's hope things work out as we want it, right? Yes, teacher. Amber, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. 
let's see. Ana Claudia, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Uh, here I was with a kind of... Um, I, I don't I'm know sorry, I'm so sorry, Ana Claudia. I need uh -huh. to take the attendance. Oh, ah, okay. I'm okay. so sorry. I'll, I'll get I'll back to you, okay? Okay. Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Jairi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Henry Neftalí Méndez Torres. Here I am. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Roxana Ibeta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline Agachi. Eh, Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibar. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Corneja. Present teacher. Filmen Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. And Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher, Ramón. Thank you, Ramón. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay. So, Ana Claudia, tell me, how's everything? How was your day? Uh, well, a kind of busy day, but what happened is that all the day I've been suffering all like day a, long. all day long. I'm sorry. I've been suffering like a kind of earache. I guess that is the word, right? Ooh, earache. Yeah, that's I know. Terrible. Yes. I, I was trying to in, I remember two days ago, I was trying to clean my ear. Maybe uh, I made a mistake, a, a bad movement, and, and I was feeling like uh, something. I no molest. That's bad. That's <laughs> bad. You gotta and, be careful. Exactly, but I started using uh, some. How can I say? I got para los oídos. Eardrops. Ah, okay. Eardrops. Okay. Eardrops and. Is they are working, but they're working slow. So I'm also um, observing myself because I guess it's like flu is starting. It's because all these uh, weather changes, even though here in my area haven't rained yet, but uh, it's like the weather changing. Sometimes we have windy days, and then the next day we have a, a, a better, a, a hot day. So those weather changes are uh, like yeah, yeah. affecting. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm uh, using the eardrops, and I hope it will be decreasing the, the air ache. Let's hope so, mm -hmm. because that thing is uncomfortable. Ah, yes, yes. But anyway. Okay. Welcome to the class, Ana Claudia. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Maria Alejandra, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. How's your I, 
I think that I have a good day. Um, I uh, uh, in the work I have a lot of cases today, but is is better compared with the other week because I have a more cases and for the seller is better and for all. And only the basic. Only the Okay, when's the wedding? Huh? When's the wedding? It's Saturday. This coming Saturday. Oh, okay. uh -huh. don't drink too much. Behave, please. <laughs> no, teacher. Uh, this week I start my vacations on Friday. Oh, really? Yes. Um, because I. If I know, uh, give me my vacation, I I lend a per a permissions or permiso for for Saturday all the day, and it's very complicated. And I decided to I need vacation and maybe to return on Monday seventeen. Maybe. Oh, that's nice. Uh huh. And in this way, um, I have a a new um, house for moving. Maybe. Oh, really? Uh huh. Yes. When and you moving? Uh, I don't decide that that the day because I pay. I haven't decided. I haven't decided the date because I paid all the month because I don't have idea to <laughs> to move uh, very fast because mm. the opportunity to only to do or no sé, solo se dio. Uh, the opportunity and gave itself. Uh, the opportunity gave me sell and I live very near to my granny house and I think that I change all my daily routine, routine but I think that is good because I I think that I and, don't have and are you gonna be on your own you're gonna be living alone Mm, maybe oh. two, two or three, two kilometers. No, I mean, this, are you going, no, are you going to be living alone? Sola? Uh, or with your and, sister as usual? Uh, with my sister and I take the decision to move a house because maybe I... Uh, give my pets oh. and maybe my mother take a uh, important decision in her life and maybe come with my sister and me oh uh -huh. that would be nice together Ooh. yes mm -hmm. i thought and... i thought you were go you were planning on on on, on catching the the, the bouquet on the, the wedding <laughs> no teacher <laughs> it's not the time. No, I think that I I agreed. Um, yo soy madrina, sería, verdad? Yeah, bridesmaid. Uh -huh, a bridesmaid, uh, and I lend uh, the other girls to the flowers. The okay, <laughs> so you give them the opportunity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's fine. Maria Leandra, welcome. Nice talking to you. Thank you, teacher. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm very fun today. What about okay, you? Really? I'm just fine, just fine. Tell me, how was your day? 
Oh, really? Oh, my, my day was mm, so happy. Happy because today I fill out my taxes and the government uh, returned to me my money. <laughs> so really? I'm so excited for that. In, in my work, it was all busy. Maybe the next week I gonna work because I have as I have a lot of pendants to 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 finish and just that I thought that I will be a free week but maybe can't be that. Okay, well, oh, by the way, you know, and you're going to have vacation next week from the 11th to the 15th vacation. Yep, yep. Uh, from, uh, here, from I, here, no classes. All oh, right, it's here. Perdón, it's true. <laughs> it's true. But uh, I want to work. I want to work uh, maybe until Wednesday. Wow, you're gonna be busy. Yep, yep. Just two I have days a... you're gonna get. Friday and Saturday. Yes, yes. And on in maybe in church day, I'm gonna travel to San Miguel to visit my mom and I will spend my time with her. San Miguel at this time of the year, that thing's hot. <laughs> yeah, it's awful. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Man. It's terrible, yeah, it's, the weather over it's, there. It's awful. For example, uh, today the temperature was 37 degrees. Uh -huh, sorry, no. 37? 37 degrees 37 today. And the rain isn't coming, isn't coming. Oh yeah, it's it's so hot today. Yeah, 37 is a lot. Yeah. So I will get crazy with that weather. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm 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 crazy when I go there. So just that, teacher. Okay. Welcome to the class. Nice having you. Thank here. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Marcos, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Uh, how are you? Just fine. Just fine. Tell me what's new. I dare you. Yeah, during the day, how was it? How was your day? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's very, it was very cold. It's very, uh, some kind of boozy, but um, some relaxing too. I don't have um, too much work to do, just uh, the work I already had. So, um, Sometimes I spend a few uh, a few days with no uh, communication with my boss. That is something weird, <laughs> but I know what what I had to do, so I I think everything is okay. While I uh, I complete my my job. Well, so glad to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the class, Marcus. Okay, teacher, thanks. Okay, and I still got time for one more. Let's see. Who is it gonna be? Hey, Francisco, how are you? Hello, teacher. Working already or not working tonight? Uh, I working in the morning, teacher. Oh, really? Ouch. 
<laughs> so it's yes. a long day for you. Yes. Uh, in this this week, uh, the, sorry, the last week, and the next, and sorry, in this week, uh, I have uh, five, no, five, five, five days in the morning shift. Then you switch. But Yes, the, I, tomorrow I am going in the night. At night. At night, so <laughs> this, oh, is this really? <laughs> Yes. Wow, it's kind of complex. Yes. Well, uh, but your schedule is always like that. Yes, for sure. But uh, the problem in this in, in this uh, chip uh, is because uh, there is a co-worker that uh, he can he can uh, he can work. So uh, oh, you are you have to cover. Mm. Or, or are you making the chief longer? Uh, how do you say uh, algo así, teacher? <laughs> something like that. Something like that. Okay, yeah. something like that, teacher. Uh, in this, in in this case, uh, the, the, the the person uh, uh, usually the operate over the other position. In my case, I I, I have realized uh, uh, two positions in, in just one in just one chip. Oh my gosh. That's complex and stressful, right? Mm, it's not not complex, uh, but it's uh, a little bit tired because uh, 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 we we have uh, many things to do. Okay. Not uh, uh, it's not complex tax because uh, but sorry but. Uh, uh, there are uh, um, tariff tax. Tareas, Sorry. Uh, o oh, como decir tareas este, que cansan. Um, assignments. Tiresome assignments. Tiresome assignment. Okay, teacher. This is the this is the case. <laughs> this is the, the problem, but. Uh, Today uh, I'm feeling a little bit tired, but I, I think tomorrow I, it's possible uh, I can uh, take a, a, a rest, or take a nap. Okay, let's hope so. Let's hope so. Francisco, welcome to the class. Thank you, Fisher. And what? Well, I'm on time. Cool. Let's see, guys. Well, welcome all of you. Nice having you here tonight. And we're going to have a couple of activities. Welcome, Jose, Nicholas, Rebecca, Stephanie, Ramon, all the ones that I couldn't talk to. Uh, Susana, well, Susana, or there's Susana, Ada. And today we're going to have a couple of activities, very interesting activities. First off, let me see. I got a, well, I got a definition first for you. You know, the other day we were talking about fake news, fabricated news, okay? When we talk about fake news, it's fabricated news. And the definition is that is the deliberate spread of misinformation, right? That information can be sensationalist, dishonest, or outright fabricated headlines and are often used to increase readership for 
with some newspaper or magazine, stuff like that, right? That could be the, the, the definition. Let me get it here for you. Okay, fake news. Now, look at that info because we are going to be answering a couple of questions about that. And I got it prepared. So let me, uh, let's do something. I'll send it on the, on the WhatsApp group. The questions that we are going to be using. Tonight, the activity is going to be different because I'm going to divide you in groups. Let me get it right. But usually I give you like one or two questions, right? Tonight, you're going to be working with more than one, okay? You're going to be working with five questions, five different questions, okay? Now, I send it already to you, but let me explain how the activity is going to be performed, okay? I'm going to divide you in groups of four or five members. I'm going to designate somebody who's going just to be asking the questions, okay? To the classmates, just asking the questions from the group. And I need the rest of you to try to get your classmates info. What's their opinions? What do they think? For this activity, we are going to have 12 minutes. It's gonna be a long activity. Remember, it's five questions, the ones that I'm giving you, and the ones who are going to be in charge of asking the questions, uh, something that you need to be clear is that you are not going to be asking all of the questions to the same person, okay? Like imagine that in the first group, let's see, my first line, I got Ileana, Jose, Ada, Henry, uh, Amy. So I will ask the first question to Ileana, perhaps, I will ask the same question to Henry, but the second question I will ask it to Jose, okay? I'm going to be bearing who's going to be answering. Now, let me check the groups because I got them ready. Okay, let's see. I'm just fixing a bit of something here. Okay, in group number one, I got, uh, I got, let me do something. I got Dana Claudia, Henry, Eliana, Jacqueline, Ramon, and Susana. In that group, Ana Claudia, you will be in charge of asking the questions, okay? Okay. Perfect. Group number two, I got Ada, Susena, Ambar Alfredo, Alfaro, Francisco, Eduardo, Jose Rivas, Maria Alejandra, and Roxana. Okay, in this group, Roxana, you are in charge of asking the questions. Okay. We're going to be the moderator. And in the last group, I got Jose Wilfredo, Marcos, Nicolas, and Rebecca. Let me see, I'm gonna make a little adjustment. No, groups are created, please jump in. Ask the questions, answer the questions. I will be moving from group to group. Let's do the activity, okay? For the last group, who will be the host? I'm sorry, Jose Wilfredo, I didn't say it. Uh, it's Jose Alfredo, Marcos, Nicolás, Rebecca. You are going to be. Okay, teach.
agree, do you agree with the about definition? So fake news is a deliberate spread of mis missing, missing information, sensationalist, dishonest, or outright fabricated headlines are often used to increase read chips. Read chips. So, do you agree with uh, the above definition? Who are you asking to, Roxana? A quien sea. No, you need to ask, be direct. <laughs> okay, uh, Amber? Maybe. I agree because uh, the kind of <laughs> yes, okay. yes. I I heard something about them. I consider that sensationalist sensationalist. How is the pronunciation of that word, teacher? Sensationalist. Sensationalist. Ah, okay. Sensationalist. Okay. Okay. Well, I I was thinking yet. Yeah, would you give me some minutes, please? Ah, okay, okay. Minutes? Okay, <laughs> let's try with uh, Ramon. I didn't ask you, right? No, I was asking to, no. to Henry. Uh, okay, uh, what do you think about the fake news? Let's say, are they honest or dishonest? What do you think? Ramon, are you um, there? Maybe he's not available. No, I guess it's it Liliana's turns better. <laughs> oh, Ramon, Ramon, do you hear us? Do you hear us? Hello. Yes. Hello, hello. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Okay, I have a little problem, but right now I better connection. Could you repeat me the question, please? Yes, we are talking about fake news. And in your case, what do you think about them? Are they honest, dishonest, or what do you think about those fake news? I think uh, it is uh, dishonest information because um, the main, I don't know, let me see. When I I saw fake news, uh, for example, in the social media, mm -hmm. is it is to to sorry that is to um uh see is a social engineer. I don't I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fishing like like that. I don't know. And yes, people... fake news uh -huh, are created for a purpose. Do you yes. think it's okay to make them or is this or that? I don't know. What do you think? No, I think that is that isn't correct. Okay. It's, uh -huh, uh, that is not correct um, because uh, people uh, and see uh, are looking for information personal information about your um your bank bank information or credit card information mm, yes but in this case for example there are digital web page or news digital newspaper that they elaborate or fabricate news in order to increase uh, readership, uh, readers. So is, is it correct for they to create, a, let's say, a terror sometimes, or let's say, make people afraid to go out or something like that, just because uh, they want to increase reader, readers? Incre uh, no, no, that is... Uh... Bad, uh, bad things um, um, because 
uh, people, uh, there are people, uh, I don't know, que sí lo creen. Mm -hmm. Hay personas que sí lo creen. They are innocent, exactly. Mm -hmm. And as far as I remember, we had a colleague in on another uh, course, on another degree. I don't remember if it was in, in intermediate one. I don't remember. But he is a businessman. And he was explaining to us that the best uh, way to advertise his uh, product or what he does is uh, through Facebook. And because he was paying, um, he was paying a few dollars for one week of advertising, but also he explained it to me that when people, uh, they are um, uh, content makers, teachers you say yesterday, content, no, content, Fabricated content, huh? Creators. Content creators. Once you create a, a note or a news, and this is uh, viral, and a lot of people is reading that, you earn money. And that is the main reason why a lot of people create fake news because they want to be popular. And at the same time, they are earning money. So um, talking about that, Ileana, I don't know what do you think about the fake news? Or do you agree with fake news or what is no. that? Well, I think, well, well, I agree with the definition. I think uh, that this kind of news, uh, as you were saying, uh, most of the time are more, are more popular than true news. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think that this, this kind of news, uh, 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 we find this kind of news in, more in social media, referring to the, the question number two, mm -hmm. in order to that, because nowadays I think that almost everybody have a cell phone. So uh, nowadays everybody use social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So uh, I agree with the, uh, well, the first question is, I definitely agree with the definition mm -hmm. uh, of fake news uh, because it uh, runs the deliberate spread of misinformation. So uh, I think that, that I don't know how to say, um, uh, no los medios, sino más bien, well, yeah, los medios de comunicación, teacher, sorry. Oh, me? I'm not yeah, how do, you, how do you say medios de comunicación? I forgot. Media, that's media. Media, uh, yeah. sorry. Uh, on, most Diana, of the time. I believe you. Sorry, I have a little headache and I can concentrate <laughs> well. <Amnesia. laughs> I have my, actually, I have my big paparu. Right? <laughs> hey, awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing in that you way? Don't look my my forehead <laughs> is like a shiny, ah, kind of shiny cute. because of the Viva Peru. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Yes, yeah, cheese, cheese. <laughs> uh, so uh, I was saying that. You well, know, you look like a little kid sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that the media uh, use, most of the time use this kind of news, fake mm -hmm. news. Because it's more easy, it's, it's easier, sorry, it's easier um, it's more it's easier to to communicate this kind of information. People uh, people like gossips actually. Uh -huh. So and it spreads so fast, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Yes. So I, I agree with the with the 
definition. Definition, and I think that the the uh, we find this kind of news more in social media than in other. And what happens, for example, uh, you know there is a a, a rumor. Let's <laughs> say, let me go with Jacqueline. Uh, all there is a rumor that uh, when there were the elections in U.S. when uh, Donald Trump won, always there is a rumor that he won because of fake news. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't know if you heard that, Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Oh, Jacqueline is having problems with connection. With ah, okay. Microphone. I don't know who so, wants okay. to, to talk about it. Ileana or Ramon or Javier. Mm -hmm. I heard a little about it. Mm -hmm. And so, well, the rumor or the, the news was, was that he, like, he, he, let me give me a sec. I remember that I, I read something about that. It, it was uh, like a kind of he creates some fake news of the other competitors. Yeah, but there was another, another, another thing. Uh, like, like he, I think that was that he, he manipulate the uh -huh. the data uh -huh. la, uh, this um i can remember uh, with in politics topics uh, when you ask uh, the population what do you think about this the polls no yeah it's a poll it's a, a poll? poll a poll yeah it's a poll like West, but, uh -huh. uh, no no yeah. no yeah yeah it's a poll yeah. a poll so I, I I read that he manipulated the that that data yeah the the information that that well he was showing as a winner be, before yeah like if like he said that that people likes him mm -hmm. and not the other but but just imagine Liana in that case that situation if he use and create fabricate or elaborate a uh, fake news that uh, were uh, in a positive way to him. He was the president of the United States. So the impact of the fake news, if is true, I don't know, because I guess it's still under investigation that he used the fake news, my God. So we, the human being, we are, as you mentioned before, we are so manipulated. <laughs> yeah, actually, there was an, an investigation. They, 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 they opened an, an investigation, uh -huh. but they can find. Oh, but I don't remember to hear any results about that. It's like uh, Neither, somebody forget. Right. <laughs> and Ramon, I don't know if you're ready. Are you there? Hello, yes, I'm, the, I'm here. I remember with you, we've been talking. Oh, no, you told me about the dishonest, right? I'm sorry. It was uh, Henry, the one that wanted time. Yeah, uh, I'm going gonna, I, I gonna to talk. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, every single point of view where you are looking for uh, fake news affect the life of people involved how do you say involved i'm sorry involucrate involved uh -huh. affects the people involved lives because they have a negative ways to impact the here his life their life and for example every fake news uh, some some every every fake news are lies mm -hmm. uh, they are liars maybe people another people maybe they are positive uh, they are creating that lies only for impact the life another 
another person. So I am disagree with 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 the term in the act, the act to to do fake news. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay, great. Okay. Yep. Thank you. And I don't know if Jacqueline is ready. No, oh, maybe. Um, the thing okay. is that Jacqueline is in a traffic jam. Yeah, she was studying us that she wasn't at home yet. And uh, well, I guess we consider uh, this, they are dishonest session. Have you finished? No. no. We are in the last one. What is the purpose of the misinformation? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Maria Alejandra? They look for followers. I don't know. And they, como, eh, how do you say, causar inestabilidad? To, okay, let me pronounce it. Destabilize. Destabilize. This. Destabilize. Adjust the followers, create impact, the teacher. Create impact. They uh -huh. looking for the stabilized, uh, I don't know, the, the normality. Or how do you say causar controversia? Controversy. Controversy. Okay. Sell more también. Aumentar ventas. <laughs> Ready, guys? Finish? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Let's go back yeah. to the main room. Do you like the activity? <laughs> Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. And here we go. Let me get the attendance, guys. First of all, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Ambar Eli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Jairi Eugenia Sarguero de Rivas. Henry Neftali Mendes Torres. Present teacher. Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. 
Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. José Marcos Rodríguez Ayala. Present. José Osmín Rivas Navas. Present. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebeca Yasmin Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Now, let's see. I need you. I need, let's see who. Uh, first group. Ana Claudia, please, I need you to summarize the discussion you just had with your classmate, please. Uh, yes, teacher. We had a conversation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You've got one minute. Summarize. Okay. Uh, okay. Go okay. Ahead. Yes. What we've been discussing with Ramon, Henry, Jacqueline, Ileana is that uh, well, half of the team, we agree with, uh, with the definition that fake news are fabricated news. But all of us, we disagree, we agree that they create misinformation, sensationalists, they are dishonest. We agree with all the five terms you described and we don't distribute. The, the goal we were discussing at the end is how to identify a fake news because they um, nowadays it's so easy to find them and they also affect our reality. And we've been also talking about what happened in the United States when Donald Trump won the, uh, uh, the elections. So, but uh, at all, uh, to summarize all, we don't agree with uh, fake news. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. You know, you just made exactly one minute. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I, I was counting even the seconds. <laughs> okay, let's see. Roxana, your turn. One minute. Okay, um, I was talking about um, that fake news with Alejandra, uh, Ada, Ambar, and Francisco, and we was uh, we were talking about that it's complex to try to identify if the notice is fake or not because uh, when you have a, a specific notice, maybe a new, lot of fake new. news. Uh, but uh, we were talking about in specific in social media in um uh, ay, ay, se me olvidó. <laughs> internet and so, internet so it's complex because uh, when the um, page for example uh, share um some information the other uh, fake page try to um Sure, the same information to, uh, to looking for a new followers or readers. And it's complex because you are reading uh, the same fake news in different pages. pages. So on the other hand, uh, we don't uh, have, um, uh, okay. we don't have a, a specific, uh, Form to identify if the, for example, if the news if, are true if, or false. No, if the if the page are true or false, not the notice. Just the, the page. Not the news. Not the news. Not, not the news. So because the new maybe is is true, but the page is fake page, just for looking. Um, followers, readers, and something something like that. And it's more common to, to, to see um, 
something like that in sorry Roxana internet oh. already okay thank you you got excited you got carried on that's fine that's fine let's see where is Jose Wilfredo your turn one minute please I was in a moderate teacher. You were what? I was in a moderate. Or the moderate was Rebecca. Yeah, that's why. I mean, I need you to summarize uh, what you were discussing in your group. Well, I didn't take a note, but. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah on your own words. Yeah, on my own words. So, you know, on, well, in our group, we discuss uh, the check one, two, three, four, five questions according with a paragraph that says, that says fake news, fabricate news is the, the deliberate spread of missing information, sensationalistic, dishonest, or outright fabricated headlines are often used to increase a readership. So in our group, the first question, if I know that, was answered by Marcos, I guess, and says, do you agree with the above definition? And he said, yes because uh, fake news is something that never happened. Or maybe just want to increase the, the followers for uh, the web page or uh, be a read like newspaper. Then where do we most often find fake news? This question was answered by me, and I guess that is by social media. Because um, whatever person could be the the author, can I say author? Author, author, author. Yep. Uh, whatever person can be the author, and never gonna. Nobody go, nobody could get the responsibility for that news. And then uh, what's worse or fake news can you think of? And that question was answered by Jose, but Jose Rivas, I guess that is his name. And he said that a politician, uh, and some show business and also, uh, I don't remember, showcase? Can I say that, showcase? Yeah, you can say it. Okay, uh -huh. then we move to the, how can we tell if I knew a story is fake or not? So I guess that if you don't have the proof of that news happen, uh, will be totally a fake. And the last one is, what is the purpose of the mess and information? In my opinion is that we, that they only want to uh, create um, uh, create, uh, let me see what is the word that I want to use. Three. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. I understand you, and I'm sorry, but we are out of time. Okay. Interesting. I guess that I take more than a minute. Three and a half. A controversy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, actually, this, these topics are like that, and that's the idea of, of me giving you topics like this, so that you can discuss, express your opinions. And I mean, that's something that we see every day. I mean, now we have some spare time, we grab our cell phone, we start like checking out and we can encounter many of them. And yeah. as 
as Roxana was saying, the, it's difficult to identify which one are fake news or not, or if the page is reliable or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty, pretty well done. Thank you very much, Jose Wilfredo. Thank you. Okay, guys. Well, we have a couple of activities. One of them is, I hope you had, you watched the info I gave you yesterday about the paragraph. Do you remember? Yes. Because uh, for tomorrow you need to write your paragraph. And let me summarize, how do we do that? Okay. Uh, if you remember, I don't know if you took notes from the, from the video, but uh, if you remember the first step in order, well, actually the very, very first step you know, whenever you're going to write something is to have the, the main idea or your topic, okay? That's the main. Let's do something. Let me share with you. Okay, here. Text. Okay. Some terms that you have there are like uh, brainstorm. This is very important. You have your brainstorm. Then you have your main idea. Then you have supporting ideas. Then you have your conclusion. And something that you cannot forget are connectors. Okay. Now, these are the main points. Okay. We got. Uh, Brainstorm. What is a brainstorm? Is the thing we do when we think about one topic, we start thinking uh, many different ideas, and then we decide which is the most important. How so? Okay, let's choose a topic. Let's see. We are going to write a small paragraph, and who's gonna give me a topic? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, 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 Ana Claudia, give me one topic, please. Um, oh, no, that one, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, those are uh, your best friends. Okay, best friends. Best friends. Okay, now this thing is open as you cannot imagine. Let's make it more specific. Something about best friends. What are you going to talk about best friends? My pet. Hmm? My pet is my... No, 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 no. No. <laughs> Ay. Es que, no, mejor cambiémoslo. Algo como que... ¿Qué puede ser? Ay. El cambio okay, de clima, vaya. Weather let's change. Do, let's do something easy. Let's do something easy. Learning English. Ah, okay learning English. Okay, now let's make, this is going to be our topic, okay guys? Now I need to get, uh, I need to make the brainstorm, okay? Remember, this is the topic, okay? This is the topic. Learning English. Now we are going to make the brainstorm. What is the brainstorm? We start getting many ideas. Okay, learning English. How's learning English for you, Ileana? Whatever Thank comes you. first to your mind. Learning English. Easy, hard, difficult, complex, interesting. Tell me. Whatever comes to your mind. Okay. It is interesting. Perfect. Uh, now let's see, Fernando, what about you? Okay, who can give me something else? It's open. Advantage. Advantage, okay, it is an advantage. Perfect. More, more, more. Come on, guys. 
It's a brainstorm. Opportunity. Okay. Uh, it opens. It opens opportunities. Yes, Amber, what did you say? How long could be? It's a need. Okay, it's something we need. Oh, it's a need. Exactly, specifically like that. It is a need. A long COVID teacher? A what? Uh, how long could be? How long could be? How, like, how many times you will uh, oh, take? Oh, how it? long does it take? Oh, how long does it take? Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, we've got different ideas. Okay, now, which of these ones do you think is the most important? Tell me. Which one do you think is the one that encompasses all of it? <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I come back. Opens opportunities. Opens opportunities. It's open opportunities. It opens opportunities. Okay, then we got this, look. Learning English. Learning English opens uh, opportunities for anybody, right? Mm -hmm. This is our main sentence. Now, what do we have here? Okay, something that we must be aware is of this. We have the main sentence. Now, the supporting ideas come from here, okay? And our sentences that are going to make this one true. Learning English, open opportunities for anybody. Look. Uh, when, look at, how do I write it? When looking for a job, it is an advantage. Mm. Now, first, supporting idea, right? Supporting sentence. When looking for a job, it is an advantage. Comma. And, oops, my bad. And it has become a need mm -hmm. for professionals and promote the in their companies. Second, you know, here when I started with the comma and I wrote and the second sentence, and it has become a need for professionals in their companies. Second supporting idea. I need one more. Okay, it is interesting, it is an advantage, and it opens opportunities. Okay. Simple. Besides again open opportunity. Mm -hmm. No, besides, uh, besides having become a tool, it can be an interesting activity. Third, supporting idea. Now, conclusion, what is the conclusion? The conclusion makes a summary of the whole idea and can also mention the main idea in shorter words, okay? I can say for all these reasons, We must, uh, we must take the time 
to. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You must take the, the chance. In this case, you must take the chance to make the best of the opportunity. Sorry. Of learning English. Here. Conclusion. The conclusion can also be personal, depending on the topic. Okay, but it can also be personal. Now, here we have a paragraph. And this is the first step to make an essay. How so? When we start making an essay, the supporting sentences of the main paragraph, which is this, become the main ideas of the supporting paragraphs. But that's something for another class, okay? So, uh, would you like me to send you a screenshot of this? Yes, please. Now, is, do you have any question? Just, no, remember, okay. just remember something. You don't need to use all the sentences you got in the brainstorm. Mm -hmm. It is not necessary. You can get plenty or just keywords and you don't need to use them all. You need to get one that you feel is the most important. Then you need to get the other three at least that are going to support that idea. Right? Chair, and in the conclusion, I have a doubt in the conclusion, we use the connectors, words as a connector. No, my dear. Connectors, I'm sorry. Connectors are used in the whole paragraph. Connectors uh, are words that yeah, is yes. that is the 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 passage between one sentence to the yes. other one. For example, when, and but all of those. When mm -hmm. and I don't remember besides, there is like a I, they are I called think... conjunctions. Conjunctions, that's right. <laughs> that's the name of them. They are called conjunctions. Exactly. But that's ah. something else that we are going to be working on slowly, okay? Okay. Now let me get the... The, the, the screenshot, this, please. The screenshot. And let me share it with you. Now... Uh, Let's see, let's now, something that I will be clear and honest with you, this is not really part of the course. That's something that I think and that I feel you need to learn because actually in the course, they are asking you to write, okay, to structure paragraphs, but I mean, it's not, it doesn't make sense if I ask you to write a paragraph, if I haven't explained to you how to do it. And if you see, it's quite easy. It is pretty simple. Then we are going to go to make, how to make essays. And you will realize that it's easy peasy. And we are going to use actually these ideas we just got. So keep them in mind because we're going to use them. Okay. And they're going to help you a lot. Actually, uh, writing essays, uh, it's good to learn it because, I mean, if you work for a company, sometimes you need to write reports, right? And it is very important to really know how to write a report. I mean, uh, you know, uh, stylistics is part of many careers. So that means that your boss if he or she doesn't know stylistics, at least they demand that you know it. So it's something that is going to be helpful for you. I hope you like it. If you don't, just let me know and I can take it out from my plans, okay? It's very helpful. Thank you. 
Okay, now let's go to the next activity. We are gonna go to the manual and we're gonna aim to work in the manual in page number 27. Just let me. Get it ready for you. Because we got us a conversation and it's a nice topic, the one that we are going to, to start working with also in the manual this week, we are going to be working with tag endings. Tags is something quite useful. Okay, let's see, share. Here we go. Okay, same well. And Isabel are going through some steps to improve their search engine optimization strategy. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I told you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? I repeat, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I told you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Now, please guys, be careful. Remember, this is revised, revised. And let's see, troublesome, troublesome. Remember, asked, asked. It's good that I asked you, okay? Now, let me get you into your groups with the persons you're going to be working. Groups are created. Please jump in. Three minutes is enough. This is a very short conversation. Oops, looks like your partner is not here. Yeah. Who's, okay. my, who's my partner? Francisco. Oh. But right now, it's me. Okay. So you start. Teacher, yeah? this, this, uh, this, for example, didn't he, didn't you, these are question tag? Yeah, tag questions. Yeah. We have, we have an, uh, an exercise. In the platform, yeah, in like section in, in two classes, three point seven, yeah, something yeah, like that. For, let's see, it's uh, it's for class day after tomorrow. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. We will get to them. We will get to them. Come on, you're <laughs> pretty anxious. Oh, no, actually, I checked that you almost finished the, the platform. Yeah, I I I already finished the platform. The section three, section four. And the final exam too. Yeah, you're so good. 
That's great. No, actually, you know, you just made my life easy because I mean, uh, otherwise you won't believe how many people I'm calling the day and uh, like the final day, look, you need to finish. Really? My dear, I have a couple of you guys who have not started the platform. What? And I've been working with them since almost one year ago and it's been the same story that you get used to it. But in the end, they do it. In the end, they do it and they do it they correctly. To. And that's what really matters. Yeah. Okay, so you start. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? Okay, okay. Revised, revised. Okay, revised. Like that. Okay, again. The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to to the, to revise. Revise. Yeah. The keywords. To revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? I'll start. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Yep, it is good. Asked, asked, asked. That I asked you. And like I, a team. Asked. Ask. Yeah. Ask. Ed, ed after K sounds as a team. Asked you. Same with revised. Yeah. Talked. No, revised, revised. Revised. It's the sound, the sound, the sound in revised is the sound of a D, like with a little vibration. Revised. Revised. Yeah. Oh, okay. And asked and, is asked. And asked, yes, asked. Revised, asked. Okay. Okay, well, let's go. Okay. Well, we close the room, so everybody's gonna come back in a few seconds. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, oh. My neck hurts. That means that tomorrow is gonna be hurting. You see, Diana, you should go to the gym, so you will be like, oh man, it hurts here, it hurts <laughs> here. So we can share the pain. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> Miss there's a saying that says, misery loves company. Maybe, I don't know. I will think about it. <laughs> I, I think that that's why they, they want me to go with them to the gym. No, they don't want me, they push me, they make me. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. Let's see, everybody's coming back. Okie dokie. Okay. Uh, hmm, who's gonna start? Oh man. This. Sorry guys, I just made a mess.
Okay. Ambar and Ana Claudia. Let's see, Ana Claudia, you start. Okay. Um, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very trouble, troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Perfect, just perfect, both of you ladies, well done. Now let's see, Ada and Rebecca. Rebecca, you start my dear, please. Okay. The content manager revised the list of the keywords, didn't he? The list of the keywords, I thought you did it. You did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We will have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, you isn't it? Perfect, very well done. Just remember, Ada, ask, ask. Yes, remember, ED after K always sounds as a T, okay? Okay. Excellent. Francisco, Francisco, you're around. Okay, Mr. Rivas, you ready? Yes. Okay, you and Ileana, Ileana, you'll start. Okay, the content manager revised, re, sorry, did you, how you revised. pronounce, revised, okay, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords, I told you, I, I told you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include, include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, I will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't Perfect. it? Thank you very much. Thank you, Liana. Work Fernando. Teacher. And Stephanie. Okay, teacher. Fernando, you'll start, please. Okay. Uh, the content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did. You did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually, uh, before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine with search engine optimization, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Well done. Thank you. Jacqueline and oh Jacqueline. Are you I'm ready? here, teacher. I'm okay, here. Okay, you and Maria Alejandra. Thank you. And you start. Okay. The content manager revised the, line, the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did, you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keywords before we actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimi optimization, will we? 
Yes, it will be very troublesome, troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I ask you, isn't it? Perfect. Just remember, Maria Alejandra, that I asked you, that I asked you. Okay, okay let's see. Ramon and Roxana. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ramon, you'll start. Okay. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you didn't it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keyword before we actually include them in the site. We won't have a problems later with search engine optimization. We will, will we? Yes, yeah. yes. I will, I will be very troublesome it later will. for the, it will be very troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked you, isn't it? Perfect. Thank you. Jose Wilfredo and Marcos. Jose Wilfredo, you start, please. The content manager revised the list of keywords, didn't he? The list of keywords. I thought you did it, didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to revise the keyboard before they actually include them in the site. We won't have problems later with search engine optimization, will we? Yes. It will be very troublesome later for the specialists. It's good that I, that I ask you, isn't it? Okay, perfect. Just one little thing, uh, Jose Wilfredo. Remember, in the word revise, the stress comes in the first syllable. Revise, okay? Okay, perfect, revise. Like that, excellent, thank you. Okay, guys, now, 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 we go back to conversation. We still got time for a little bit of conversation. Okay, well, I got the one question that is quite simple for you. I mean, it's, it's a topic that it's something that is not going to give us it's not going to be difficult for us to talk about it, okay? Now, look at the questions I got for you. When you hear the word violence, what do you think of? Is the world more violent today? Okay, let's see. Um, Stephanie, please ask those questions to one of your classmates. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I have such a someone. Mm, let me see. Roxana, sorry. <laughs> let me see. Let me see the question. Roxana, when you hear the word violence, what do you think of? Is the word more violent today? Mm, to be honest, uh, I think that it's very common. It's not uh, just a uh, word because uh, we always um, have some examples about that uh, in the real life, in the couple, uh, couple, couple life, no. Yeah, okay. married life. Okay, and we have um, a lot of um, cases about that in the school, for example, when, when the kids are so quiet, so shy. Shy. Yeah. And, yeah. and I think that uh, it's not, uh, it's more common nowadays. Um, and we need to support uh, the good um, explanation about that and try to, cons to 
to create con, uh, crear concientización to, to create a good imagine about that uh, problem image. because oh image. no what you want is people to take notice to make yeah. people take notice okay we need to we need to take people no, no, no. hold on hold on hold on hold on like this look to make people take notice of the to problem. make to make people takes notice about the problem because violence now i think that is more common than the past Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Elena, ask this question to one of your classmates and please, I need you to make you to make at least one follow up question. Okay, are there different sorts of violence? So, uh, Jose Wilfredo, are you there? I'm sorry, so, I'm muted my, my microphone, but I, I'm uh, here. Okay, it's okay. So uh, we are talking about violence and I want uh, to ask you something. Hmm. Do you okay. think that, are there different sorts of violence? For example, physical, mental, psychological, domestic violence, what do you think? Wow. That occasion, first we have to talk about with if we have a child or so yeah, maybe like, yeah, like family first, I guess that you have to discuss that, that kind of topic because it's really a specific what you, what do you want for the rest of your life? Maybe if you have a child, uh, how you can teach them uh, how, um, how to what? How to understand the situation and how to treat them to avoid that in that, um, that that kind of violence. Okay, so in order that, what do you think? Uh, uh, what kind of, of, of actions we can take to a uh, teacher disminuir, to decrease? Diminish, decrease. diminish or decrease. Dim okay, to decrease. Look, look uh, your chat again. Uh, okay. Continue, please. Okay, uh, to decrease this, so, uh, I also want to ask you something, Jose Wilfredo. Uh, what do you think are the causes of violence? For example, I don't know, a poverty, employment, frustration. I guess that all of those, uh, all of those what, all of those kind of violence, uh, maybe. I don't know, maybe it depends on your uh, the other person, maybe, I guess. So you think that it depends on the type of violence? Yeah, I guess I think so, I don't know, but because mm -hmm. I guess that could, has to be your uh, your education like first, okay. and then uh, uh, your, um, your values. I guess that you learn it when you was a child and how to treat the other person. I don't know, maybe that's called help a lot to, to avoid uh, whatever kind of violence. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Uh, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca, you around? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, look in the chat, please.
Okay, Fernando, I have a question for you. Hello, tell me. Rebecca. Okay, I want to ask you if does the repetition of violent images in TV news reports have a positive or negative effect? The sorry, sorry, the, the, the beginning. Does the repetition of violent images in TV news reports have a positive or negative effect? Um, what do you think? Okay, the the repetition of act of violence in the news. Yeah, imagine. Um, uh, I think that generate a, a negative effect uh, because um, the news are not controlled. All the people, include child, can see. Um, you know, for a child, is 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 not positive, but for adult, is positive because they can see, watch the the actual situation. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, guys. Okay. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ambar. <laughs> Hello, Ambar. No, no. Hello. Ambar, can you check in your chat, please? In the Zoom chat? Okay. Okay, hello, Maria Alejandra. Please. Does violence ever achieve anything? Uh, ever, uh, what's the meaning of ship? I don't know. Achieve, lograr. Oh. Can you repeat me, please, the question? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Does violence ever achieve anything? Mm. I don't know. I think that um, the virus is uh, it's a very complex to topic. Where... This stabilizes the normal, I don't know, normalidad, teacher? Normality? The normal, yeah, the normal. The normal. Oh. Everyday yeah. life? But that's what you mean, right? Yes. For okay, example, okay. the last day from the country was very difficult. Okay. Yes, yeah, because I you feel scary for different things, and maybe when you stay outside, you thinking that 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 the I don't know you. You're you are in danger. Uh huh, it's dangerous and you don't feel safety and like this for different situations to to uh -huh, to do different persons at the pandillas or I don't know. Gangs, gangs. Gangs, uh -huh, gangs. Okay, thank you. Thank you both of you. Okay, next one, Marcos. Okay, uh, Jose Rivas. Please, um, what could be done to reduce violence? I think so. Uh, so we bl will be the same that the government is doing now. So that getting people like. So. No, I think that is not for that type of type of violence violence right so can i relate the violence like that well yeah in general i mean the, the question is quite open okay sure okay so but i will uh, basically pick up this topic that is for the that the government is doing now that is getting people that actually are acting so not in a good way so like the pandillas so i think that gangs gangs 
Sorry, gang. Yep, that's the word we use in English, gangs. Yes. Ah, gangs. Okay, so with the gangs, so that is that they had to cover some a specific situation that uh, because the, there are so in all of all of the country, right? So they have some spaces that they usually use in order to cover them. But I think that, that they had to push them in order to decrease the, the violence Thanks. and also, sorry? Yeah, yeah, no, that's okay. Hey, Thank okay. you very much, Jose. That's okay. okay, that's okay. Marcos, please. Okay. Um, Ada, what could be done to reduce violence? Sorry, repeat, please. The same what question. Could be, what could be done to reduce violence? Mm. No. Depend the situation, please. Could you mind elaborating a little bit? One minute, please. Stops. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry. That's okay, that's okay. Now, guys, well, I hope you like the activity. It was pretty interesting. And we're going to be, once in a while, we are going to do it like that. I'm going to be giving the questions for you and you're gonna be interacting among yourself. And remember, the objective is for you to speak, okay? And let's see, well, I need to, somebody for tomorrow, but I'll let you know. Remember that for tomorrow, you got a homework. You remember that you need to write a paragraph, okay? Remember that it's from yesterday's class. So I will be expecting those paragraphs, a picture or type it there, send them to me, please, tomorrow before the class. Let me get the final attendance. Ada Susana Caceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Ambarelli Alparo Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejia. Present teacher. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Henry Neftali Mendez Torres, Ileana Giselle Cañas Escobar. Present. Jacqueline Xiomara Morales de Castro. I'm here. Jose Marcos Rodriguez Ayala. Present. Jose Osmin Rivas Navas. Present. Jose Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present, teacher. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Rebecca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ivette Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Wilman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Ramón Enrique Mata Escobar. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present, teacher. Hey guys, always a pleasure to have you here. Have a good night. Rest. Good See you night. tomorrow. Teacher, bye. Bye. Good bye. Good night.
Switch mode. Okay. 